Hi everyone. Today we will be doing stats to uh, graded assignment for week nine. So the first question here is: Suppose that the number of buses reaching a particular stop at one hour time period follows a Poisson distribution with a parameter lambda, which is unknown. Uh, previous record suggestions with the prior probabilities of lambda are p of lambda of 4 equals to 0 0.6 and p of lambda equals to 6 equals to 0 0.4 so if a particular one hour time period five buses reach the bus stop find the post posterior mode of lambda so basically we will be calculating that which of the which of these two uh, either lambda equals to 4 or lambda equals to 6 is more appropriate with the value of getting 5 buses in a 1 hour time period so this is what we mean by poster probability uh, it is basically we are backtracking our result and finding our initial event so first of all uh, the probabilities of p of lambda equals to 4 is 0 0.6 i'm just rewriting the things here and probability of lambda equals to 6 equals to 0 0.4 so first of all we will find probability of lambda equals to 4 conditional probability that x equals to 5 right 5 buses so for that we will be having uh, I'll be using that base theorem so p of x equals to 5 probability of uh, conditional probability lambda equals to 4 into uh, probability of lambda equals to 4 right divided by probability of x equals to 5 isn't it right so from this we will be getting uh, let me just rewrite the whole thing here right so we will be getting p of lambda equals to 0 0.25 not 25 it's 4 here so 4 will be equal to e raised to power minus 4 right uh, minus of lambda which is into uh, 0 uh, it will be okay so they are asking for right so the probability of lambda which is 0 0.6 raised to the power isn't it right into um, oh wait a minute here's a confusion here it would be yeah lambda raised to power x sorry uh, I need to raise this part so it would be 4 raised to power 5 into 0 0.6 which is the basically you can uh, think of it as a joint distribution uh, where lambda equals to 6 and 4 are the possible values and out of this uh, there are other possibilities of getting this number of buses per stop in a one hour time period so we are just multiplying two probabilities divided by of course 5 factorial into p of x equals to 5 isn't that right so this would be a uh, this factor next would be which is which would be similar to this would be let me just use another pen here yeah so probability of lambda equals to 6 where x equals to 5 would be e raised to power minus 6 uh, 6 raised to power 5 upon into 0 0.4 upon 6 factorial 
into probability of x equals to 5 isn't that right these are similar so basically when we divide both of them we will be getting so i'm dividing both of them yeah and so they have been divided right so this would be cancelled out right so basically what we will be getting here is uh, how can i wait a minute yeah i'll be writing it here so p of lambda equals to 4 conditional of x equals to 5 upon probability of lambda equals to 6 upon x equals to 5 will be equal to e raised to power minus 4 into 4 raised to power 5 into 0 0.6 into 6 factorial upon e raised to power minus 6 6 raised to power 5 0 0.4 into 5 factorial wait a minute 5 factorial yeah this would be also 5 factorial the factorial terms would be cancelled out yeah this would be 5 factorial here so these terms will also cancel out so basically what we will be left with is just this term yeah so great uh, we need to find whether this is greater than 1 or less than 1 so the numerator here would be approximately equal to 11.25 and denominator would be 7.7 .7 approximately so we can clearly say that this whole is greater than 1 and we can say that probability so let me erase this wait a minute yeah so we can basically say this that the probability of lambda equals to 4 conditioned with x equals to 5 would be greater than probability of x lambda equals to 6 condition to x equals to 5 so 0 0.4 will be our answer because probability of lambda equals to 4 is 0 0.4 which is the posterior mode right so uh, 6 would be our answer here lambda equals to 6 so basically posterior mode refers to this uh, what will be the value of lambda so right posterior mode of lambda here not the probability so 6 would be our answer sorry 4 would be our answer I'm getting confused here but yeah we had probability of lambda equals to 4 x equals to 5 greater than this so lambda equals to 4 would be a posterior mode sorry for the confusion here yeah yes. correct answer perfect now next would be the outcomes of a rolling die okay 10 times are uh, 4 double 2 double 2 double 6 double 2 1 okay so many twos here okay so use the uniform 0 to 1 priority of posterior mean of p which notes the probability of getting an even number write your answer to correct two decimal places so we need to find the probability of getting an even number okay so it's already given that let p be denoted as uh, the probability of getting an even number so of even right the prior distribution of p and basically the distribution of p is uniform from 0 to 1 so we can say that f of p would be equal to 1 so the posterior density 
would be proportional to let me write it in another pen here right so the posterior density would be proportional to the uh, all the basically like probability of x1 equals to x1 this goes to x n to n basically the number of trials we are getting into this so this would be proportional to this part here so we can generally say that the posterior density would be the multiplication of all the probabilities we are getting here so from this we can definitely say that posterior density which is uh, which i mentioned before would be proportional to here it's uh, how many of them are there one two, three mm -hmm. would be proportional to here one two three and basically all are even and last one is odd so we will write it p raised to power 5 into um, 1 minus p raised to not 5 here wait a minute yeah so p raised to power 9 into 1 minus p raised to power 1 into uh, which will f of p of 1 uh, f of p which would be 1 so basically we are getting this term only and from this we can certainly say that a beta distribution this would be beta this term here would be beta of 9 comma 1 i hope you agree with me here right so uh, posterior posterior mean would be equal to expected value of beta which would be 9 upon 9 plus 1 right okay so it would be 0 0.9 isn't that right okay perfect so our answer here would be 0 0.9 i hope i'm right one two yep all are even 10 times perfect oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute uh, this is usually my confusion part here so here i did something wrong again um, basically yeah you also know that stats is getting harder and harder so sorry for that beta would be here and this would be alpha minus one and this part here would be beta minus one so right so this would be alpha would be here 10 and beta would be 2 now it's perfect so it would be beta distribution would be 10 to 2 right so now posture mean we can write it with certainty that it would be 10 upon 12 which would be uh, let me use the calculator here wait a minute uh, calculator yep here it is this would be 10 divided by 12 which would be 0 0.83 so 0 0.83 3 is continuous so yeah 0 0.83 would be our answer so you can write it 0 0.83 right so the next yeah thank you